Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn HTTP patch request. You might already know that there are different HTTP methods or we call them as verbs and each one is used for different purpose. Get, post, put, delete are the common HTTP methods. Along with these methods, there is one more method that is patch method, HTTP patch method. This method is used to partially update the content. HTTP patch method is used to handle HTTP patch request and HTTP patch requests are used to partially update existing resources. If you are following the series, then you might know that we are working, we are creating to-do list web API. In this web API, we have already added different endpoints. Like we have different action methods to handle HTTP GET request. This action method will handle HTTP GET request. And it has an option to pass ID as parameter. And we have one more action method. This action method supports HTTP POST request. And we have also, and we have also discussed HTTP PUT request. Now we are going to add one more action method that will handle HTTP PATH request. Let's do one thing. Here we have this update to do item action method. Uh, let's copy this one. Let's copy whole thing. Okay. For now, let's remove this attribute. Return type is going to be the same. We are going to return I action result. Let's keep this one as it is. Let's name this method as patch to do item. Let's decorate this action method with HTTP patch attribute. We have used this HTTP patch attribute. Her ID is the placeholder. This int ID parameter will be mapped here. If you notice this HTTP put method or HTTP post method, we receive input data which is mapped to model. Here, here this create to do item which handles HTTP post request this receive C this receives data which is mapped to which is mapped to a parameter which is of type to do item DTU same applies to this HTTP put request HT request data is mapped to to do item DTU now in case of HTTP patch request it's going to be different in case of patch method we receive changes in the form of JSON patch document so our parameter is going to be of type JSON patch document and type is going to be this to do item DTU. If you notice one thing, as soon as we specify this JSON patch document, we are getting error. It says type or namespace JSON patch document could not be found. How to fix this? To fix this issue, we need to install package microsoft.asp.net core.json patch. Let's go to package manager console. Right click, you can choose manage NuGet packages or else you can go to tools. You can go to NuGet package manager and you can go to manage NuGet packages for solution. Now, let's go to browse. Search for this package microsoft.aspnetcode.json patch and we have to install this package. These are the different versions available. Let's install latest stable version. Click on install. We are getting this error because now we have to add the namespace. Control dot. See, now we have to use this namespace microsoft.aspnetcode.json patch. Let's understand a little bit about JSON patch document. JSON patch document is a class provided by ASP.NET Core framework to facilitate the implementation of JSON patch operations. Basically, JSON patch is a format for describing changes to a JSON document. One more thing about JSON patch document is it is an array of objects, each representing an operation to be applied to a JSON document. It will be something like this. So this is an array here. This is the first object here. OP represents the operation. In our case, we have specified operation as replace. Operation can be add, replace, delete. There are few predefined values that we can choose from. 
then path is the name of the property that we want to change and value is the updated value. We are going to talk more about it when we run this application. I'll rename this as patch talk. Done. Now, this is the logic that we have copied from this put method. Now we are going to refine this logic. Instead of this to do item DTO, I will use this to do item model just to reduce the unnecessary mapping between the DTO and the models. Next, we are going to check if patch doc is null. If it is null, return path request. Now we are going to fetch existing item. We are going to fetch existing item whose ID matches the ID passed as parameter. We are again we are going to check if this item is null. If this item, existing item is null, I, then we are going to return not found. Our next step is to apply a patch. Now we have to take this patch doc. This JSON patch document class has a method which is called as apply to. If you look at the definition of this method, this method applies this, this method actually applies the changes. We have to pass the item that we have retrieved. We have to pass this existing item. This way, this method will apply changes to this existing item. After applying the patch, we can return this OK response. Let's test these changes. See, the swagger has listed this new patch endpoint. Let's try it out. See. First information that we have to pass is the ID. I'm going to pass ID as 1. Next is the request body. In this request body, we have to pass patch document. In the request body, we are going to pass this information. Here, op. Here, this, this is the operation that we want to perform. We want to perform this replace operation. Path is the title. And we have passed some value. Let's do one thing. Let's keep breakpoint here. Let's try to execute. See, we are not getting success response. We are getting this error response. The reason behind this error response is from ASP.NET Core 3.1 onwards, we have to install one more NuGet package to handle this JSON patch request. Let's open NuGet Package Manager again. We are going to install this package, Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.MVC.NewtonSoft.JSON. We have to install this package if we want to work with patch request. Let's install this one. After installing this package, we have to register NewtonSoft service with dependency injection container. Do that after this add controllers. We are going to add this Newton soft. I will execute this patch request. For execute this patch request, let's execute this get all just to understand what are the existing values. We have two items. One is task one, second one is task two. We are going to change this title task one to something new. Now I will execute this patch request. I will execute. See, here we have received this patch request. Operation, operation is, see, here op stands for replace. Path is this one. This is the value. Let's continue. See, now we have this 200 success response. Just to verify whether actually value is updated or not, let's do one thing. Let's execute this get all again. Execute. See, now this time this record has updated and now the latest title is updated task title. Let's quickly recap patch request. Patch request is used to partially update the existing record. In case of ASP.NET Core, if we want to work with patch request, we have to add action method and decorate it with HTTP patch attribute. 
Next important thing is we have to install two NuGet packages. One is this JSON patch, other one is this Newtonsoft. These are the two important NuGet packages that we have to install if we want to work with patch request. And one more important thing to remember is in case of patch request, we work with JSON patch document and if whenever we want to apply changes, we call this apply to method. These are the few important things we have to remember if we want to work with patch request. In this, in this example, we are changing only one property. What if we want to change multiple attributes? What if we want to change multiple properties? Then just add one more item and specify the property that you want to change and specify the operation and we have to specify new value. So let's check. Okay, this has existing value is false and we are changing it to true and I will make it as updated task title 2. Now let's execute this. The sales record has been updated. Let's quickly execute this get all. This is how we can change multiple attributes. JSON patch supports different operations like add, remove, replace, move, copy, and you can explore with different methods. That's all about JSON patch request. I hope the session was useful. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.